we're on our way to the Emot today. The Emot is a big convention thing, a bit like the one that they have in London and Birmingham in England, where you can see lots of bikies. What is that? Where he's smoking while driving. <laughs> it was it was smoking while driving a quad. Shit. He's mental. Yeah, so the weather's not brilliant. But we wanted to come on our bikes because going on public transport to this place would take an hour. And we don't want we didn't want to get up as early on a Saturday. Saturdays are Saturdays. You've got to have a bit of a lion. So it's like two degrees uh, and it's all wet and a bit slippery. But this is quicker. <laughs> and we're a bit crazy, aren't we? So we don't care. Plus it means I get to wander around on my motorbike leathers all day. You can't really do that if you go in the car. But I guess you could. I guess you could do that if you go in the car. But <laughs> you'd look ridiculous getting out of a car in leathers. Does, it's not authentic enough, is it? It's cheating. I mean, it'd probably only be like two people that would know in the car park. But still, those two people would be thinking all day, what the fuck? <laughs> Fake bikers. Fake bikers that go around in a car in leathers. And just go to bike meets in their leathers. Stand around and drink coffee and act like they're bikers, but they're not. I guess you could do that. I guess that would be possible. Go to Lumi's and park, it, park, in, the <laughs> park in the petrol station next door and then just walk round to Lumi's in your leathers and go for a cup of tea and stuff. No one would know, unless there was no one else in the car park and you just turned up in your leathers uh, and they'd be like, where's your bike? Oh, I'm getting cold now. So I've got a new microphone in my helmet because my last one started going all crackly and this one seems to be all muffled. It's really annoying. I keep having to, on my editing programme, I keep having to change, change the sound settings to make it less muffled. Adding a lot of brightness to make it less muffly, which does distort the sound a little bit. I'm not happy. Not happy. I'm going to have to order another microphone because sound is very important to me. I take great care and attention to make sure that there's not any clicks between cuts and stuff and make sure everything's about the same noise level all the way through. And it's not something that most people would notice, I don't think, but I notice it when I'm editing and I notice it on other people's videos when it's not right and it annoys me. Oh, I'm really looking forward to sitting on a load of new bikes. I really want to see the new R6. That's going to be there. I want to sit on it and see if it's see if it's anything like my bike seating position or if it's completely different. And I mean, now Honda's got rid of their CBR 600 RR. The Yamaha R6 would be the only one that I would switch to from this bike. I mean, I would love a BMW, but they're just too expensive. I'm only talking about if this bike broke. Actually, if this bike broke, maybe I'd just get a second-hand one off this. I really like this bike. You know what? KTM needs to do a 600 sport bike. It's really annoying that they don't have one. Like if they did one with Phil's engine in it, and it looked if it looked a bit like the RC390, I would buy that. I, pro I would probably buy that right now. It's Phil's engine's amazing. The KTM engines, the one cylinders, are just amazing. They're so much fun. But that's not my kind of bike, and that's too tall for me. Phil's bike is too tall for me. I know you'll be saying, oh, get the Duke then. And as much as I like the Duke, it's, it's not a sports bike. Fucking let me in, bastard. It's just not my kind of my kind of thing. I love my sports bikes. I love MotoGP. Really looking forward to watching that this year because we'll be able to. We'll have, we've got the right TV channels now. I mean, it's going to be all in German, but I guess that'll, that'll help with my learning still. I mean, I'm at the level now, actually, where I can watch most TV and most films and be able to keep up with it. And there's, there are odd words that I don't know. Sometimes they speak too quickly for me to understand. Sometimes they have accents that are a bit tricky for me to understand. But on the whole, my understanding in German now is pretty, pretty good. It's not too bad. It's enough to live with. I could live with this level. Yeah, probably permanently. But I don't want to. I want to learn more. One of the things that I find really annoying as well is that in Germany, they don't have the traffic lights opposite you. It's only at the line. So I find it really hard sometimes when you're on a sports bike, you can't see upwards because my helmet like hits, hits my leathers and I can't see upwards anymore. So these, these lights at the top are pretty useless to me if I'm at the line, I, can't, I cannot see that at all. And if, I, if I've got a truck next to me and I try and look sideways and I can't see the light, then I'm, I'm pretty much blind. I like it in England when you have it opposite. You have the traffic light opposite that you can see if you're at the front. It makes sense. Oh yeah, here's, here's a camera somewhere. Go slowly for the camera, hello cameraman. And I noticed after my ride the other day that my clutch has gone really stiff. I need to do something about that. 
Hey, there's a biker. There's a biker up ahead. Yeah, it's really stiff and it hurts my hand, this clutch now. It never used to hurt my hand. And I don't think it's because I haven't been riding for a while. I mean, when I first got this bike, the clutch never hurt my hand. Dan Easy shop. Oh, I want to go in there and try on some clothes. Oh, I love Dan Easy. Oh, man. Although the new leathers that they bought out, I'm not really that into. They've got this funny lopsided look going on. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like lopsided. It has to be symmetrical. I like symmetrical. I put a picture up on Twitter the other day of this lovely symmetrical engine because it looked beautiful and I just, I couldn't help take a picture of it and oh, it was a beautiful engine. We went to the BMW museum, which I highly recommend. It's a good museum. It gives you a nice, nice backstory on BMW that I didn't know. Oh, and they did the telescopic front forks first. They were the first manufacturer to do that, which also I didn't know. And they've always been like pretty pioneering technology wise. And I, I guess they still are. Oh, that's horrible. Why are they put train tracks on a corner? Man, it's nasty. They were well slippery. Uh, so now we've got to find out where we need to park. I wonder if we could just park out front. We are bikers after all. Do we get special priority? Ah, cool. Yeah, priority parking right outside. <laughs> that was fun. I think we were the only people wandering around in leathers, which made us look like superstars. Everyone was looking at us. <laughs> oh, there was a really cool S1000RR there. Oh man, it was so lovely. It had a really cool paint job. I like paint jobs. I like new fairings. I think it's, it's quite an in inexpensive way to change the look of your bike if you get them from China. If you don't get them from China, then it's a very expensive way to change the look of your bike. Oh, and there's the Dionysi shop again. I need to go in there. Look, they've got those leathers in the front window that are lopsided. <laughs> really don't like them. Oh, there was a Ducati, Ducati Diablo. And it was in the colours that I like, but I did not like it on the bike. It looked terrible. There was loads of map bikes there as well. I don't know why there was loads of map bikes. And the bike that surprised me the most was the new Honda Fireblade. Because when I saw it in a magazine, the new style, I thought, nah. Oh. But in real life, actually, it was quite nice. Looks pretty good. Felt pretty good, but when I sat on it, it's got a plastic tank and the tank squeaked. Like you could press in the sides of the tank and it, it squeaked like it was a toy made of plastic. It wasn't, wasn't very nice. 
didn't really like sitting on the new R6 because my bike's got clip-ons that are quite high up and that bike's got clip-ons that are quite low down. Mm, maybe it's just because I've got a short body, it didn't fit my body shape. I don't know. Didn't like it as much as my bike. There was an MV Augusta I quite liked. I think it was the Dragster. I don't know. Had pretty wheels. Oh, those wheels were great. Red and white and beautiful. I don't know why I'm so attracted to red and white. What is it with red and white? The new Street Triple looked nice. Uh, they've done something with the eyes. Made them probably a, just a tiny bit more roundy and less, less angular. Quite liked it. Oh, there was a really weird bike with weird eyes. Oh, what was that one? Could have been on the Honda stand. What? What? What are you doing? And he doesn't even know when it's green now. Stupid bastard. Stupid, stupid bastard. What?